hemophilia B is an inherited bleeding disorder that affects predominantly men. And the problem with hemophilia B is that patients are missing coagulation factor 9, which results in recurrent spontaneous or trauma-induced bleeding. The bulk of this bleeding affects joints that can result long-term in arthropathy. It can also affect other organs, including the brain, that can have really devastating consequences and can be associated with fatalities. The current therapies for hemophilia B involve recurrent exogenous factor administration intravenously. So you can imagine this involves significant planning of daily activities and can result in difficulties in adherence. We administered an adeno-associated or AV vector to adult men with hemophilia B to deliver a factor IX gene to their liver so that they can then make their own factor IX protein. And what we found is that the administration of the vector resulted in sustained levels of factor IX activity that were on average approximately 35%, so just slightly below normal levels. But what's really unique is that for the first time we achieved factor IX levels that were adequate to essentially eliminate bleeding events and eliminate need for factor infusions. The men on this trial are no longer having to administer factor, they're no longer having bleeding events, and this has made a dramatic improvement in their quality of life. Patients are reporting simple daily activities that we take for granted, shoveling snow, coaching their son's baseball team, you know, going to dinner and dancing with their wife. They've now been able to do unencumbered by having to administer factor or be worrying about bleeding events. The main ultimate goal of gene therapy is to have a one-time disease-altering or curative treatment, and so far that's what we've essentially seen in these patients. Ultimately, if that carries forward, the idea would be that patients wouldn't necessarily need care.